So what's up people and welcome back to Pamela. Yeah, so it's been ages since I played this game. And uh, the only reason I'm coming back is to do a very short video. I've recently got a hold of a new vid card, uh, RTX 3070. And I've also downloaded Afterburner to get the FPS and the temperatures. And I've always been curious about the comments that people made that this game would overheat their system. Which is something I've never seen, but I just wanted to take a look at this game and see how it runs with some of the latest uh, video cards. As well as to see how much of a, you know, usage in graphics this has on your video card as well as maybe your CPU. So let me take it to the highest settings now that I can uh, do so. Okay, so everything's on high for the most part. Yeah, okay, so I'm just going to leave it like this. So we're playing at 1440p, and I have most everything at high. I do have uh, V-Sync on, which may mean that the, uh, yeah, the frame rate is going to be somewhere in the 60 frames per second. And even at this high resolution, uh, oh, was uh, nasty? No, mean lady. That's it. Not nasty. Not nasty. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Boy, it's been a while since I played this game. I can't remember what I need to do to uh, defend myself. Sorry, I can't even remember the keycaps. Okay, so the uh, frame rate is going, <laughs> wow, we could dip down into the 40 FPS at 1440p. So yeah, uh, this game seems to still be taxing on the video, which is very unusual. That I always knew, even with the old card, which was much weaker. And so, wow, this is really smooth though, with this new card. This is buttery smooth. And it's not even getting 60 FPS and it's still this smooth. I must have been playing at really low frame rates. But we're up in the, what, 82%? Okay, 70%. So we're up, okay, so we're up in the high percentages in the... Uh... <laughs> no, 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 no. All I wanted to do was test this game. I don't need you to come after me. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's like a group of them. There's another one. Can't even test the frame rate. Oh! Oh, I'm glad you guys uh, talk a lot. <laughs> Whoa! Well, at least I'm getting in-game uh, situations. There we go. Okay. No, that's not what I want. I want. There we go. There we go. Okay, so 77%, 79 So we're up in the 80 percentile in the game. And uh, this GPU isn't particularly the biggest uh, cooling system. Although I hear the uh, Founders Edition is a halfway decent cooler. And it's still getting about 70C, so it's not that high. And I could live with 70C, even at 80. So 86%, it's going up close to the 90 percentile in the GPU. The CPU is up in the 50, 60 percentile. And neither one of them are particularly getting up to really high temperatures. That's what I figured. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, your game could uh, tax your uh, processors, right? Whether it's the graphic processor or the... Uh, let me just get these guys. Or the uh, CPU, right? And that I could see. I mean, a lot of games, including the most recent Cyberpunk uh, 2077, does that. Of course, this definitely doesn't have the level of graphics that that one does. Although, it's actually pretty decent for an uh, indie's game. I think the graphics is one of its strong points. As far as looks are concerned, maybe not in terms of performance. And definitely, I don't think this game is optimized well, so you do end up taxing your processor. But the point I'm making is, if your processor is well cooled, adequately cooled, even if you go up near the 100 percentile range, you shouldn't be... <laughs> oh! Boy, it's been a while since I played this game. Whoa, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, gotten how uh, busy you get playing this game. Yeah, okay, so even if your processors get taxed, you know, unless you're playing 100% for significantly long time, like, you know, uh, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, you should be able to get uh, relatively decent temperatures. Unless your system is not adequately cooled. And so if you're seeing an overheating of your system, then that would be more a uh, comment with regards to the cooling power of your unit rather than the uh, game. The game will tax the system and there are a lot of games out there that do tax the system. But when it does, does it overheat your rig? More depends upon the design of your rig than it does on your uh, on the game. Now if you're playing on a laptop that's different because laptops in general are so compact that it's hard when you're taxing the system that much. But if it's a desktop um, especially a home built, then you should be able to get decent cooling from whatever cooling uh, system uh, is run attached to your processors. Anyway, that's all I wanted to check. So yeah, we're up in the 90 percentile range of the GPU and we're still getting only the low 70 uh, degrees. And 60% uh, on the CPU, I'm getting around in the 60 degrees. So that's okay, I think. That's acceptable. And so I just wanted to test this out. I've always seen this in the comment section in a lot of the uh, discussions is that this system or this game would overheat their system. And so overall, I do agree that this game will tax your system and it definitely did for my previous video card because it was nowhere near as powerful so it had to work even harder. But I've never seen uh, the game overheat that much and so I just wanted to check it out. Anyway, that's about it. Sorry for the uh, short video uh, and <laughs> maybe I'll play Pamela some more in the future. But in any case, thank you very much for watching. As always, Jai and nice day everyone.